Well, good morning, guys. It's January. It's about 5 a.m. And I'm about to go do something I hate doing. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I just love going and picking up cars. But driving across Wyoming on Interstate 80 in January, gotta categorize that as no fun at all. Well, 550 miles later to Salt Lake City, we made it through that horrible Wyoming weather. But inside this kind of unassuming hangar and in that door is what we're looking for. It's pretty exciting. And of course, this is a 1932 Stutz DV32 LeBaron convertible sedan. Keep hugging that side. Just keep hugging that side. Yeah, turn it a little to the right, Clay. Hold it to the right. There you go. Just keep hugging that side. You're good. You're good. Keep to the right. To the right? Yep. Just hug that side because you're... You got about four inches over there. Here. Turn to the, the right. right. Turn to the right. The other right. The other right. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now just a little bit left. <laughs> Did you guys just catch that? I learned something on this trip. I had no idea what a U-tard is, but now I know. things I ever put in my trailer it was a winch with a remote control. It is fantastic. This car was described to me as a lot of the work has been done. What work? I see a couple of new top bows. I see the fenders somewhat worked, but check out the droop in this right front fender. Well, that doesn't cut it. I was told that the engine work had already been done, but obviously we can't put oil in this thing and fire it up. We're gonna have to tear it down. And check out this tag on the right sill. That's the original LeBaron body number 118-1862. This car has a lot of really cool stuff, and one of them is the hydraulic brakes. You can see the brake line right here going out through the backing plate and over to the frame. Here's the brake booster switch, comes off the brake pedal, and here's the master cylinder. 
So I get everything unloaded out of the trailer, I put them on these carts, and um, the next odyssey will be to figure out what we have, and more importantly, I suppose, what we don't have. Well, of course, we're going to be bringing you all of the nitty-gritty details of the restoration of this car, all the cutting, welding, and drilling that we have to do in order to complete this restoration. We're going to bring you the whole process from the day this car arrives until the day that it's on the green grass there at the 18th fairway at Pebble Beach, and that's our goal. We want to have this thing done for 2024. Very ambitious. That's a year and a half to complete this car. And I did not see a few very important items, one of which is the luggage rack and the inventory. So I'm going to be searching for some parts. There's some things on this car that aren't really quite right. And so I need to go look at the other two. There's three known to exist. This is a LeBaron body convertible sedan. So uh, not a big pool of cars out there to, uh, to gleam some information off of. But the other thing I want to bring you is, I want to bring you the story of the Stutz Automobile Company and Harry Clayton Stutz. From the very beginning until the demise of the country, company in 1934, what happened all in between, how did they get to the point of actually producing this car and having the DV32 engine, we'll bring you all of those details kind of sprinkled in amongst the restoration. And so it should be a, it should be a dynamite series. Stay tuned.